The troubled teen industry is estimated to be worth upwards of a billion dollars. And these facilities have been known to spare no expense in using manipulative marketing tactics to lure parents into the programs. Some children have even been known to choose to go to these facilities because of how well the school is advertised. Buckhannon resident Haley Hedrick is a former student of a now-closed therapeutic boarding school called the Academy at Ivy Ridge. She said that some of her friends who also went to troubled teen industry programs felt that they had been tricked through false advertising. You know, they said, oh, you know, boarding school, like this is going to be like glamorous on like TV. And it's, it was not, it could not have been any farther from that. In Hedrick's experience, these programs tend to dress up their facilities for the cameras or if there's a scheduled visit to continue a fake facade. Not just my uh, program, but a lot of the other programs, they claim to have things like horseback riding, like equine therapy, and picnics, and they show photos of kids riding horses and kids going on picnics and day trips, when in reality, that's that's not the case. They may have taken a group of two kids who proved to be loyal, who may be graduating in the next month, took them to a stable for an hour and then snapped a few photos and said, this is equine therapy. Once parents reach out to the programs, Hedrick said they typically use scare tactics to push parents who are already worried about their children to get them enrolled. When the parent speaks to somebody, it's typically their first time they're speaking to a professional sometimes, so they kind of unload a little bit and invent a little bit and the person on the other line is, is really taking advantage of them and saying, you know, if you don't send your kid away, they're gonna end up in jail. They're going to end up dead. Um, and they really use that kind of scare tactic. And be like, don't worry, we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it to kind of calm the parent down to send them away. And that's, that's a story that we hear all the time amongst the survivor community of that's how it happened. Hedrick also explained that her boarding school also had a referral program where parents could get a discount on tuition if they convinced others to send their kids to the program. Although Hedrick's school is closed, other troubled teen industry facilities are still prevalent all across the country. And often, the schools have children cross state lines or even out of the country. And although these centers are expensive, Hedrick says you don't have to be rich to get roped in. You know, I'm shocked at how many people still consider this an option today. Um, I shared my testimony on, on Facebook, on social media, and um, I gave it to Breaking Code Silence as well. And I received messages from some people I knew, some people I didn't know, who said they knew somebody, whether it was a neighbor or a family member who had a teen who was acting out and they were wanting to, you know, looking into other options until they read my story. And that's that's so alarming. That That's still something that's being looked at and considered. I don't feel like every residential treatment is, is bad. I wanna say that. I don't feel that's the case. But I think parents who are considering that for their children should really pay attention to where they're sending their children, what the warning signs of these programs are. Read below for a list of red flags that a residential facility could be abusive and tips on how to help a struggling teen. For WBOY.com, I'm Shayla Klein and Buchanan.